The aim of this task was to separate this mixture and collect a sample of the four components. The first step in the process of separating the mixtures is filtration. We used a filter, filter paper, conical flask, and a beaker. The salt was dissolved into the water, however the sand and the iron filings were undissolved. The process of filtering was to separate the solvent from the solute. After being filtered, we were left with the filtrate, which was the water and the dissolved salt, and the residue, which was the sand and the iron filings. Our next step was to separate the sand and the iron filings. To do this, we used a magnet wrapped in cling film. The magnet would pick up the iron filings but left behind the sand. We then moved the iron filings into a separate beaker. In this experiment, we evaporated the water to get salt crystals. We used a Bunsen burner to increase the rate of the evaporation. A heatproof mat was used to prevent the table from burning and a tripod to hold the crucible that contained the salt solution. We also put a crucible with a salt solution on the windowsill. We sped up the rate of evaporation by using a Bunsen burner to have a comparison to the natural evaporation of the water. In the next experiment, we evaporated and condensed the water using a Bunsen burner and a condenser. We did this to separate the water from the salt solution. We made the condenser from a rubber tube, a beaker with ice, clamp stands, and a test tube. The heat from the Bunsen burner evaporated the water, which then traveled up the rubber tube. The water vapor then entered the test tube, which was in a beaker of ice. The ice cooled the water vapor, and then it condensed into water. This was our end result. We had separated the mixture into iron filings, sand, water, and salt.